Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Movie Couple. I'm Dustin. I'm Wendy. And here's our movie review for Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Yeah! Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle is directed by Jake Kasdan and stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Karen Gillian, and Reese Darby. When four high school students are put into detention together and stumble upon an old video game, they get sucked into the world of Jumanji and must work together as a team in order to get back home. So my expectations for this movie was a little weird because there was so much nostalgia that I had with the original Robin Williams Jumanji. And I just was like, you know what? I was able to be able to separate myself from the love of that movie and be like, okay, this is going to be something completely different. But I was excited to see The Rock. I was like, excited to see Kevin Hart. And I was excited to see um, all this um, Jack Black and this whole cast work together and see how it was going to mesh. Yeah, I was kind of iffy at first, too, when I first heard about it. Like, I like the cast. I like the people that they have involved in it. Mm -hmm. But same thing with you. I kind of got really stuck on the nostalgia. And it's like, no one can do better than Robin Williams. And then that first trailer hit. And I had fun watching it. I remember getting so much hate in the comment <laughs> section. Like, you're disrespecting Rob the memory of Robin Williams by liking this trailer. Why? Yeah. I mean, why Why does that disrespect? I, that means I enjoyed that the work he did so much in Jumanji that I kind of look forward to the next iteration of it. And you know, and since, you know, this new iteration of the movie's coming out, it's mm -hmm. going to make you want to go back and watch the original yeah. and kind of appreciate it for what it was. I have to say, though, very different tones. You very know, true. I mean, one is much older, obviously, and is a board game. In this new iteration, Jumanji has turned itself into a video game. And actually, I liked that ad adaptation. It's new. The fact that, and they kind of showed you that the board game, they showed this in the trailers, that the board game kind of adapts. Mm -hmm. It's the same game, but it finds a way to make it more appealing. Essentially, like, the most evil game ever. Mm-hmm. It will tempt you in the ways that... I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. It was... Well, what I really liked more than anything else was... So we have the four the four dynamics of the high school kids. Yeah. And kind of seeing seeing where they are, and they kind of open up the, the... You know, I didn't really care about them, to be honest with you. I was like, no, nah, whatever. And once we got into Jumanji, and you see the main... like, I'll, Let's call them the Jumanji cast, because they're the ones that are stuck in Jumanji. Like, with yeah. The Rock, Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Karen Gillian... When they came together, they had such good chemistry that they made mm -hmm. this movie fun. I honestly, the story's fine. The story's fine. It's very formulaic. Yeah. Where it goes through da 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 of like playing a, a, a board game or a video game. But what really worked for me was the chemistry and the jokes. And I don't know, you have comedians like uh, Kevin Hart and Jack Black. So I don't know how much was actually improv, but what you could tell was they had fun making this movie and it read. And that's actually a really good point too, because there were a lot of <laughs> moments in this movie where I'm going, I bet you anything, they just said, okay, Jack, this is kind of what we want you to do. And this is kind of the goal of this scene, but have fun with it. And I'll uh, add this too, since we're talking about characters and stuff, I mean, you saw him in the trailer, so I don't consider the spoiler. Plus the movie's kind of already out in, in most theaters. Uh, but Nick Jonas is in this movie. He's also in Jumanji. And at first when I saw him, I was like, well, that's interesting, a Jonas brother. Mm -hmm. He was really, really good. And I think, I believe he's acted before. Um, but he just blended right in yeah. with this cast. And... Like, I, I don't think the movie would have been the same without him. Like, like there, there was something that he added to this movie that I enjoy so much. Yeah, and just how, like, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, all of them kind of played their characters. Mm -hmm. Or more like their avatars. Yeah. The, um, the, what's the Jonas Brothers name? Nick. <laughs> Nick, Nick Jonas. Nick actually did a really good job on playing that persona of that character yeah. that he was supposed to have. He and I found it very enjoyable... And I just really loved how the whole cast just worked together. So for the story, like I said, it's very like paint by numbers formula. Yeah. Nothing really surprised me, but it's a lot of like puzzle solving. A lot like the first Jumanji. I, I honestly feel that the original Jumanji was way more intense. Like this one, I didn't really have any sort of like fist clenching moments. I kind of like knew where yeah. it was going to go and what was going to happen. It was much more like it's either I'm older now or it's they made it more 
kid friendly. No, I Even think though there was cussing in the movie. I think the first one was a lot more adventure <clears throat> kind of a story. This is definitely more of a comedy action movie. Comedy action, yeah, with a and, lot of heart in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even though, I mean, one of the biggest things that I will love about this movie, up, down, left, and right, is the chemistry between the characters. But what's funny is, is they are kind of very different from the kids that they're supposed to be in the game. I mean, you have the kids before they get sucked into the game, mm -hmm. but then you honestly have The Rock playing his kind of a character, Kevin Hart playing his kind of I a character. I don't know. I have to disagree. I feel like they portrayed their true characters, like their high school, their inner selves, really, really well. I saw... I This is, this is the first time I've seen The Rock act not like himself. Like... Yes, he's got those action parts in the movie where he is The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, stunt guy, action star. But when he did his acting and he had to portray the persona of um, Spencer, it, I really felt like I, this is like, I don't want to say this is the most acting I've seen him done. Yeah. But I, 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 he was very not in the same element and I really enjoyed that. It's refreshing. Okay. Maybe then it was mainly more Kevin Hart. Yeah, that, Kevin Hart was Kevin definitely Hart, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was definitely but Kevin Hart. But his character was also like Kevin Hart. His like his his, was, his true self was also like a lot of Well Kevin the football Hart. player, he was, you know, he's kind yeah. of a he was kind of a jock. I mean he did not talk nearly as fast or as much as Kevin Hart did. <laughs> but I like Kevin Hart so much. But don't give me yeah, don't I, I like Kevin Hart. <laughs> I, agree I thought with he you was there. really funny. I but I was just kind there. of thrown off a little bit because I was like, yeah. well, you know, the jock <laughs> is a little bit more, you know, hey, you know, a little bit yeah, more a little bit, a little yeah. more cool. Yeah. But I guess if you throw him into a body he's not comfortable with, in a world that actually kind of scares him a little bit. You make he him might, carry a backpack. And make him carry a backpack the entire time. Then maybe he would become a little bit more Kevin Hartish. But um, uh, before I get to this, this my my like my favorite thing out of the entire movie, um, Karen Gillian did a great job. We see mm -hmm. her as Nebula. We know she can kick butt. Um, there's a lot of instances where she will like whip her head around. And I was like, there's Nebula right there. <laughs> like it's so hard for me to unsee Nebula, and that's not really a complaint. It's just like it just so happens that something I something that it. we notice. Yeah, something that she looked, she looked great. She was funny. She blended in well with the cast. I liked her. I liked how as soon as she got there, you know, they immediately pull the why am I wearing this? Yeah, I'm in a Explained jungle. Explained away immediately. Mm -hmm. This is so stupid. I mean, when you really think about like Laura Craft video games, and especially the early ones where she was just pretty much in like a tank top and mm -hmm. uh, short shorts. Yeah, and you're like. Well, who would wear that in the jungle? <laughs> yeah, and they touched on that. And they did that in the trailer, too, so it was, like, much appreciated. Uh, but my favorite element or person, I guess you would say, like, my MVP for this movie is Jack Black. We haven't mm -hmm. seen him. I, the last movie I saw him in was Go Goosebumps, and I did not like that movie <laughs> at all. I don't know if I did a review for it. Like, I, I walked out of it, I was like, really? Like, they took one of, like the most, not the most, but a very popular uh, kids book, yeah, YA book, beloved. and I just, I just didn't like it, but I think it's really divided, because there's a lot of people I knew that liked it, I was like, mm -hmm. really, me, I don't know, but anyways, uh, he was fantastic in this movie, yeah. he really embodied uh, Bethany, who is his, his, you know, who was the girl that was playing his avatar, and at first I thought he was going to be really over the top, and really yeah, cheesy, same here. but his jokes worked the most for me like mm -hmm. i enjoyed his jokes and kevin hart but mostly jack black's the best yeah i have to agree with you there mm -hmm. jack black really stood out in this and you could just tell he was having a blast doing this yeah. entire time during the entire time of shooting or at least it appeared to be yeah and um there's a scene with jack black and um oh what's her name nebula karen gillian karen gillian and it is hilarious. oh yeah that they're just they just has, you could just tell they had fun, mm -hmm. and that in and that in return made me have fun. But I wanted to point out something I really didn't like, and it's not really the story, even though it's kind of like I already said, paint by the numbers. It was the villain. Did yeah. not did not care for it at all. I we could have done without like having a villain in this story, and the villain could have yeah. just been the game slash the levels itself. Yeah, it, as a, like it was so unnecessary to have this villain that like really didn't do anything, didn't really look that cool and just wasted everybody's time and took yeah. time away from who we wanted to see more. And honestly though, that was something that I really was gonna hope that was gonna happen because since it was so video game focused, <coughs> I really was gonna hope that they were gonna have a boss fight. Like a fight. boss fight. A big boss fight. 
I mean, at the end. They, they have kind several of... mini bosses, I guess. I don't want to give too much away, but let's just say at the end, the villain could have been way more. Yeah. Let's let's just say that. But I loved all of the little video game references mm -hmm. that they had in there, yeah. and how they adapted the story and how they adapted the game to have all these little fun, you know video game innuendos yeah. to, with the three lives with the special abilities yeah. with the best one by far was the limited vocabulary mm -hmm. of the in-game characters yeah that was that was a nice little to, to video games. i'm not going to tell you the joke but i just loved mm -hmm. how they did that and how they're like oh my god that's right every game you've ever played that's how they are well, I think we've uh, pretty much covered everything we liked and didn't like, so why don't we go ahead and give our ratings? Well, I'm a little torn with this one because mm -hmm. it's a good movie and it's fun to go see. I want to give it actually something mm -hmm. like in between a rent it and check it out. Oh, you got to come up with that category then in the next video. Yeah, I think I might one. do that. I think I'm going to start because technically in our rating system, the rent it is still in the top three, but, you know, I'm, I'm so, you know, I'm still, I'm going to give it a rent it. So it's worth seeing, worth going to check out, but I'd say go and rent it. Uh, that's the same rating I was going to give. I honestly, like like I said, had a lot of fun watching mainly the characters, the actors playing their part. But this is not a movie you necessarily need to see in theaters. Like It's not mm -hmm. so cinematically epic that you need to go experience it on the big screen. Um, maybe if you have kids, but I would say wait for it to hit... Redbox or when it's available on streaming or Netflix or whatever and rent it. Or go see it on a matinee. Don't change my rating for me. <laughs> Don't that, That's your rating. You can give yourself that if you want. Okay, I'm, I'm, my, wor I'm is, working on it. My, I'm working on the rating system here. <laughs> mine is rent it. Well, you guys, that's it for this uh, review of Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Let us know if you saw this movie, what you think in the comment section below. And if you prefer this one or the original with Robin Williams. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also if you get a chance, check out our Patreon page because we're always loving any kind of support. Even if you just share it, we highly appreciate it. So, we'll hopefully hear from you guys soon, and we'll see you in the next one.